Microsoft's AI chatbot, Copilot in Windows, can be quite useful with various tasks you do on your computer. This video will be a beginner's guide for new users going over the basics. I'll offer tips, tricks, and recommendations to help those of you just getting started to help you make the most out of using Copilot in Windows. Let's get started. Since many of you are new to this, I'll be showing you the free version of Copilot. As many of you may have seen, the Copilot in Windows button is now on the taskbar. Until recently, it's just to the right of the search bar. In a recent update, it's now located all the way to the right of the system tray. You could just simply click on it to open it and click on it again to close it. A quicker way to open it is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus C. That same keyboard shortcut will also close it. If you have an active window open, the default for Copilot will have it opened as an overlay blocking a portion of the other window. Clicking this button here at the top, second from the right, will change it to side by side so it doesn't overlap the other window. This is the way I prefer to use it. You can use Copilot to ask almost anything that you want by typing it into the text box. They also offer various suggestions, so you can see examples of what you can ask. Instead of typing, you can also use your voice if you have a microphone. The response will be both in text and voice. Here's a quick example. To begin, select the microphone icon inside the text box, and when you're done, click the microphone again. Write a short love poem for my wife Vicky, who is always sticky. Then click on Submit. Certainly. Here's a sweet and sticky love poem for Vicky. Sticky love. In the honeyed hours of twilight, where time slows and hearts entwine, I find you, my sweet Vicky, a love that clings like dew to morning grass. Your laughter, a sugary melody, sticks to my soul, refusing to fade. Our fingers, like caramel strands, intertwine, leaving traces of warmth. And when life's stickiness threatens, we hold fast like two gumdrops adhering to the same wrapper, weathering storms with unwavering resolve. So here's to us my sticky love, bound by the sweetest glue, forever entangled in this delicious mess. Vicky, my heart's everlasting caramel. Copilot, when it's done responding to your prompt, will suggest possible related questions that might help you to get a more in-depth response. You can also ask follow-up questions by typing it into the text box or using your voice. You can also copy its response by selecting the copy icon located in the upper right of the response window or clicking on the copy icon below it and paste it wherever you need it. You can use Copilot to change some of Windows settings. At this time, this does not work with all settings in Windows. Here's an example of one that works. Turn on dark mode. To confirm, click on yes. And now dark mode has been turned on. You can also use Copilot to open programs and apps installed on your computer, like Microsoft Word, Excel, File Explorer, and many others. For this one, let's open Notepad. Click on yes. And there it is. To help tailor the AI responses for your needs, Copilot offers three conversation styles. More creative is for responses that are more innovative and imaginative. I suggest this one for creating songs, jokes, short stories, and sometimes when creating images. More precise is for those times when you want a response that prioritizes accuracy over creativity. For example, with coding, this would be the best one. And as you would expect, more balanced, which is the default conversation style for Copilot, strikes an even balance between more creativity and more precise. I recommend for people to try out all three to find out what works best for them based on the type of prompt they enter. For some of you that would prefer to use Copilot in a browser, instead of using the side panel, you can open it in Microsoft Edge with a few additional features. To do this from the side panel, select the icon at the top, for open in Microsoft Edge. Here on the right, there are some of their more specialized Copilot GPTs. 
Designer is for creating images. Vacation planner is for planning travel. Cooking assistant is for finding and creating meals. And fitness trainer is for helping to create an exercise plan. And here in the upper left, selecting notebook is for queries that are more complex. For example, when working on a highly detailed proposal or email, there's a text input limit of up to 18,000 characters. Copilot for Windows has plugin support that when enabled will give you extra functionality and additional experiences. To enable plugins, select the icon in the upper right. Search is enabled by default. There's not many to choose from and only three can be enabled at any time. Suno is one I've been having fun with lately creating music. There's also plugins for Instacart, Kayak, Klarna, OpenTable, and Shop. This one's cool. If you don't feel like reading an entire article and just want the key points, Copilot will summarize it for you. In Microsoft Edge, open an online article. Then in the Copilot side panel, select Summarize the page in Microsoft Edge. Then select Allow. And you may get this screen. Select Got It. When it's done, it'll give you suggested follow-up questions, or you can ask a question in the text box pertaining to the article. Copilot can analyze images and screenshots as well. To do this, you could select the upload image icon here at the bottom. The easiest way is to drag and drop that image from your computer into the Copilot chat box. When it's done analyzing the image or screenshot, it'll let you ask follow-up questions. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. It's difficult to cover everything in this type of video, so let me know in the comments if you have any other tips that you think might be beneficial for others to know. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell notification icon for more Copilot tips and other tech-related stuff.